All right, so let's take a look at this. This is a, a pseudo unboxing and then actual use. A lot of people have unboxed it, so I've, I'm doing a, uh, a quick unboxing. Uh, and really, this is really a setup to see how it looks. So let's just take everything out. Uh, not very well. Here we have the box and some stickers and more stickers. A lot of stickers. Double side tape. Here, of course. So this was, I got the large, uh, this is the Papyrus uh, version 1.8. I guess it's hard to see. Well, never mind. But you can kind of make out 1.8. And we got just uh, uh, the button. Yeah, let's just take all the buttons out. buttons here um, so we have to solder these on um, actually maybe I'll do that um, tonight uh, solder these on uh, like so but in the meantime let's just take a look at what's going on <coughs> so of course is the hat here's uh, just a Raspberry Pi uh, two model B, nothing uh, fancy. I decided not to put on the Raspberry Pi three, um, just just because of my application. What I'm going to use this for, and so it goes on like so. We'll take that off. Real time clock. It's nice. Uh, you know, just just in case people don't know how to put this on. Let, let's zoom in. Oh, and then off, of course. Uh, here we go the actual e-ink display and the connector. So let's take a look at that. <coughs> so here we go. Um, in order to put uh, the ribbon uh, connector in like so, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pry open gently uh, this open. Just Let's do that again. So we're just going to Try this open, just up, open up like so. Let's go straight up, and then once we do that, we can see the uh, connect the connectors, connectors, and so we're just going to slide it in like so. That's hard to do with uh, like so. There we go. Zoom out. Oops. <clears throat> so we got the buttons on, um, and, and I couldn't help but to notice we have this device here. It looks like there's a, a spring-mounted uh, uh, portion. I feel terrible. I don't know what it's for. I, I think it might go here, and, and maybe it's a way to. To, to otherwise ground or a reset. I, I'm not quite sure actually. Um, I, I just don't want to solder it in there. Oops. Uh, but perhaps somebody else knows what this is um, or where it goes. It was it was part of the uh, uh, the package, but yeah, no idea where that that thing goes. I'm just going to put it off to the side. Here we got the uh, Papyrus uh, 1.8. I, I got the large, large one. We're going to put that back on there. Uh, before you start, uh, prepare to to solder the but buttons if you want to use them. That is. Next, put these spacers on that they give you, and then finally, then put the actual screen on. In order to do that again, uh, on this side, we're going to put that up. I'm going to put this in like so, and then we're going to bring that down like so, and we're going to keep the uh, the screen protector on here temporarily. And uh, I'm not going to. It looks like actually. Well, we just learned something new too. Uh, if you put the spacer, all four of them on here, 
it looks like then and then this right here this edge is floating high so let's take a look see what that looks oops see huh that's not very pretty huh oh gee my knees so the fit and finish we got a little issue right there um, so now the screen is kind of high maybe that's why we have these things here um, let's just put one here and uh, one here I guess that's why maybe that's why they give you this if we do this huh and maybe put one here here and here they came with absolutely no instructions so <laughs> Well, okay, so if you put those there, it seems to be a little bit more level. Uh, just a little. <laughs> okay, and we, I didn't take these off yet. So let's just make sure it, it all will fit. Uh, okay, it's hard to see. Okay, now. Yeah, so that will go in there nice. And, okay, so before we do that, I'm going to put this all into my case. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. Huh. Well, I think we see a problem already. This kind of sticks out. Uh a bit yeah just a bit well not quite the look I was going for kind of want this to be on top like so and that is not going to happen it looks like um, so that is not happening but you know, whatever, I guess you don't need the plastic, but the edge um, comes out a bit. But that's probably the best I can do, so I will take off the other side of the tape, I guess. I think it's... I'll just do two, just to make sure so I, I'm not totally beholding. Yeah, there's no way I could put that in. I mean, it looks like there's an edge here, but there really isn't. There, the glass goes up against it, so so it, it overshoots it by a little bit. Yeah, it overshoots it by maybe three cent, three millimeters rather, and, and, and that's like. So okay, so that's the best we can do, and it's as level as I possibly can make it, so let's take a look at it. 